Hello everyone. My name is Yanka and I am a homeschooling mom of four. My two boys are seven and six and my two girls are four and two. And we've been homeschooling for four years, but um, just this past week, I made the decision to move more into God-led um, unschooling. And it's, I felt like I was being led in this direction. So um, that's where we are. Um, for a couple of reasons, um, um, as I you know, watch my children, um, they still like to play very much. So I do allow them a lot of time to play. But when with the curriculums that we're using for writing, math, and uh, reading, um, they weren't so enthused about them. So I said, well, <laughs> that's kind of, you jump, jump this. And just, you know, asking the father, you know, where would you have me go with, what should we do right now? And then I came across a couple of scriptures. And then, you know, they got me thinking like, okay, um, one was Isaiah 54, 13. Well, actually this is one we say all the time, you know, it's a part of our daily um, prayer before we start school. And as um, all of your children will have God, for their teacher and what a mentor um, for your children. So I know, you know, he leads and he guides. And I, you know, as I thought about, you know, how people learn, how I learn, um, I have an interest. I'm very much interested in scripture, um, what it says. I'm interested in God or Yah, you know, I'm very interested. So, you know, I read um, the scripture. <laughs> I read it. Um, I pray. I, you know, listen for the spirit to lead and guide me. And these are things that I want my children to learn. So, um, and then the um, biggest scripture that had me going in this direction is John 7, uh, 15, the message version. It says, the Jews were impressed, but puzzled. How does he know so much without being schooled? <laughs> so that's the thing, you know, you have um, education in the school realm, and then you have, you know, you can be schooled anyway. It, it doesn't have to be, you know, a certain way. So my thing is to um, teach my children to hear from the spirit and let that be their lead, their um, guidance in um, leap their leading guidance come from the spirit realm. Because if you look at all the examples, I mean, Yeshua or Jesus, he wasn't schooled, <laughs> but he was very wise and smart in all of them. And, um, or all the, the naysayers. Um, and then there was uh, um, Joseph. You know, um, Joseph learned all that stuff, but he wasn't in any kind of leadership or management school, but that was the spirit teaching him. And then, um, if you read in the book of Jasher, it talks about how this um, spirit came down to teach him those 70, 70 languages in that night. Um, so he can be promoted to where the father had him to go. And then there was um, uh, David, who was out in the field with his sheep and stuff, but he learned how to be a king, you know. So we, you know, I just feel that children are connected with the father. Um, he can, he'll direct their path, you know. He'll, he'll direct the path. So, you know, I'm here to um, pray, um, to, to provide some leadership and direction for them. And, and to actually, yeah, to train them in the way they should go. But in that training, you know, my first and foremost thing is that they learn how to connect with the Father and how to hear from Him. And they don't have to guess about things. Because I think a lot of people do want to you know, go through life aimlessly because they are disconnected from the source. So as long as you are connected to the source, um, they'll be able to, you know, just hear what he's saying and walk after um, what what it is that he has for them. Because of course, you know, I see the different things in them. And when our children were um, eight days old, you know, the father, we would dedicate them to the father. And he would tell us specific things and even about their futures, what the things that they're going to be. So he has a specific design for all of my children, you know. But that's, you know, through connecting in that relationship with him. You know, this, you know, as I look at this thing, um, yeah, what we do is not going to look like everybody else's, which is fine. But I'm on a mission to do exactly what the Father tells me to do with my children. And actually, any part of my life, I'm going to do it. 
Um, that's not what anybody thinks or says. I'm going to do it. So this we are. So um, all that to say, I will be uh, probably documenting um, some of the things that we do from maybe every couple of weeks, maybe a weekly. I'll see. I'm not sure yet. But um, from you know the things that we do in our now on school. Um, before we were, um, and they'll still continue to do like the the boys do gymnastics, the girls do gymnastics. They like that, so they'll continue on with that. Um, they also take swim lessons because I think that's very important. Um, that's a life skill that I think they all should have. I think everybody should know how to swim. So they'll continue swim lessons. Um, and then they, they enjoy their art class at the art museum. So we'll continue to go to that. And I think that's the extent of their um, extracurricular activities and then um, I take them like we go to the library once maybe twice a week sometimes and like we like to we're, very, we're kind of an active family so we like to do things you know play outside um, ride the bike especially um, now since it's warming up it's um, almost spring here so the temperatures have been better, um, warmer so like we've been going to the park, um, riding bikes, taking walks, and um, in the next couple of weeks we'll be taking hikes. So I do feel like it's very important for children to get outside and get fresh air. So um, we we do that. Um, and then also like my one kid, he loves he's he's kind of geared towards science. He really really loves science. So. And I saw that with him when he was two years old. We took him to this science, um, this kid's science show, and that held his attention for like the one and a half or two hours it was. And I'm like, wow. So um, science is this thing. He likes to go to the science museum. So we, you know, museums, I like I like visiting museums. I love like learning things that way. So my kids, they kind of, they, they like that kind of learning too. And like when we go on um, our different trips, um, I like to go on tours and things like that. And so it's nice to, you know, learn about the history of the place. So I like that, you know, be guided tours and things like that in live learning. And that's so much more fun because even I found myself getting bored. Like I just noticed that like um, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I'm like, this thing this is boring. <laughs> and the um, curriculums that I was doing, I'm like, you know, this is, and maybe because I'm a, a hands-on kinesthetic type learner. And I like doing things. And my kids, they like to be on the go. They like to move. They love to be on the go. And um, and which, you know, I actually like to move. I like to go different places. I do enjoy that. But I'm also an introvert. So I like to be home to rest and recoup. But, you know, when it's time to move, we move. So, and it's also nice. Um, uh, they get to go to work with Papa. <laughs> That's what they call my husband, Papa. Or the other dad. Um, so... They get to go to work with him, and that's a lot of experience that they're getting, you know, um, just the, the interaction, just watching the things that he do, um, riding around, looking at different properties, learning how to shop for different things, so that's cool. And um, in the airplane, they get to, um, you know, learn, because I know when we first had this airplane, I was like, it sounded like... <laughs> like a totally foreign language to me, <laughs> you know, uh, this is al alpha, uh, alpha, uh, they have th these different names, <laughs> you know, at first I'm like, man, <laughs> what are they saying? But after a while, it became, okay, I began to understand just by being, sitting there in an airplane, just listening to the conversation going on, so. I think they're picking it up that up too, and it's just like so exciting for them to uh, sit in the uh, sit up in there and you know watch the takeoffs and the landings and to watch how this plane is being driven and learning about the oh it's a lot to learn but they're you know they're absorbing and picking these things up so I think that's cool you know they get a get to have a lot of um, what I call living experiences and it's not you know isolated okay this is. Oh, man, this is science. This is reading this, but how it all works together. And that was the thing like that was in my heart, like holistic education. I wanted them to, you know, not have segmented, but this is just a natural way to learn. So um, come, you know, um, watch our videos as we um, share, you know, our learning experiences and um, hopefully you share with me as well. And so I hope you enjoy some of these pictures from uh, 
the past couple of weeks of some of the things and activities that we've done. Have a good one. Bye.